continue our shu'urim on the kavanas of Sfiris Omer. Like I said before, these are for advanced mechavanim. Okay, these are people already are well involved, uh, well have well studied the Otsotzrayim, the Atzchayim, and already um, um, Shah kavanas and the uh, kavanas of uh, the Rashash and the Siddur. So right now, we are, as we structured yesterday, the, the kavanas are quite simple in Sfiris Omer. So you're going to have the the first set of kavanas that we know is only in the Brach of Sfiris Omer. That's going to be um, in uh, the uh, when you say the uh, Shem's name, Baruch Atah Shem, that's the first kavana. That is the Chug coming in, one set of Chug. Then you say the words Sfir uh, Omer, another set of Chug is coming in. Hayom, another set of Chug is coming in. And then when you say Kach Vekach Lo Omer, we'll find a fourth set of chugim coming in. So it's four times we're bringing in chasadim mikvuz into Zav and Ukva. And it's, it's, since it's only a kitzah shir, we're not going to go into different shitas, but there are various and different explanations according to the different Kabbalists. What are the nuances between, obviously we're not doing the same thing four times in one in one bracha in Sfiris Omer, but rather we're doing either the Panim, the Achorayim, we're bringing it to, to Za, um, 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 Yaakov Arochel, that means Zuna Ketanim, and then Zuna Gedolim. There are variations and Machloikas in between the Mephanshim, which we're going to leave for right now. And then, since we have done now those four Kavanas, there is, again, um, in number four Kavana, it's in two parts, really. I just told you, bringing the Chug, but you're also bringing Mochim the Gadlis. You bring Mochim the Gadlis over there, Chagtam the Chagtam, and that we covered yesterday. Okay, so that really you can split it up to one, two, three, four, A and B. Four A and B. So what we wanted to discuss today is four B. Four B meaning the, the fourth fourth set of chugim which are coming in into this kavana which is by the words of kach for kach lo omer the first day of the omer the second day of the omer and so on and so forth and therefore we have to understand that as the mafashim explained to us this is the main kavana and all the other kavanas fit into this one kavana so we're looking at it as micro or macro so the macro kavana over here is this what we find over here, this 4B Kavana, which is called the Kavanas of the Chug de Dechuyos. Chug de Dechuyos. That means we're pushing in the Chug. We'll see in a minute how that works. And that every other Kavana that we said, 1, 2, 3, and 4A, are all micro Kavanas that you have to look into and place into that big box called the chug, uh, the the special the dechuyos, the chug the dechuyos. Okay, so how does this work exactly? So if we look at a picture, those obviously uh, who are listening to this must have a siddur hashash in front of them, and in siddur hashash, as we mentioned in the first year of this kitzu kavanas, that in all parts, whether it's in part one, two, three, or four, that means Hashem. They all have the same chart in Chovasana, which is this chart over here. And this is one of the main, this is the main chart that we have to look at and understand properly. And uh, uh, we have to stand this properly. <coughs> which again, that's that's the chart of the Chug de Chug de Yeah, If I look to the bottom part of the page, maybe you should show that again, the, the top part. You want to show the top part, right? Yeah, I showed it, yeah. Yeah, when you, when you put up the sitter, I, I saw the bottom part. Right. Not the top part. Then at the end, you showed the top part. It's okay. Okay. Um, now, what we want to understand is, is as follows. And then, by the way, this is, as I just mentioned yesterday, this is part of... All the Sidurim of Pashtanim now, and everybody knows this, that you come into Shul, you say, oh, today is the Chesed, the Chesed, the Chesed, the Gvur, Gvur, the Chesed. And as I mentioned yesterday, most people don't understand what that means. And that's what we're going to explain to here at the Kabbalah. So what it is as follows. It's very simple. Let me show you now a chart which I drew um, of what Za, what we said, we, all these Kavanas are building up Za and Nukva, particularly Za, and then the chef is going to go from Za to Nukva. So as we as we as we as we are mentioning the uh, as we're bringing in the Chug, 
we have to see that za is split into four different parts. Four different parts. The two main parts are chaget nahi, as we know, because he's a cotton and we're building up za. And we split chaget into two parts, a chaget a chaget and a chaget nahi a chaget. And we also split up the nahi, says Rizan and Shalkevonis, into also two parts. You've got the chaget the nahi, the nahi the chaget. Okay? And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay? So the, the, uh, the, the, the red part representing uh, the nahi, we're going to look at this at the ovi. And over here, we're going to be looking at the chagat the ovi as well. Okay, so the top part being the chagat, the chagat. And then you have the nai, the chagat. And then you have the, 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 the chagat, the nai over here. And then you have the nai, the chagat over here. Okay, the, 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 the nai, the nai, excuse nai. me. The nai, yeah. the nai, okay. Now, if you look closely here, I'm going to put it up to the top of the camera so they, they can see over here, I'll show you in a minute, um, that there's little numbers to this chart as well. So, by the way, you see that you see that there are uh, different spheres, right? Starting by over Chesed, Gvua, Tifere, Netzach. It's a Chaga, right? Chesed, Gvua, Tifere, Netzach, oh, you saw it, okay? Now, these are split into ten spheres. Each one, the Chesed has ten spheres. Chachem Bagadati, Chachem Bagadati, Chachem Bagadati. Each one of these, for example, the spheres of Chesed is going to split into, into, um, into ten spheres. Into ten spheres. Into ten spheres. That's what it's going to go into. Okay? So look at the numbers over here. So on the first day, we're doing Chesed the Chesed. That's the box that you're filling into Zah. This is the box that you're filling into Za. Okay? And then the, and the second day, second day, this is the box that you'll be filling in. The, all the Kavanas will be going into this one box. Into this one box. Okay? And then the third day, the fourth day, and so on, fourth, fourth, till you fill up all these 49 boxes, which represents the 49 days of spheres. Oh, this is what it looks like. This is the... This is the master, the master sheet over here. This is what we're filling in. Like, you know, as a, half the little kids are filling little boxes as a county. You know, they come home from school, the 49 boxes is filled over, oh, and every day, every day they put a sticker on it. We're also doing the exact same thing, but this is filling of the Chaga, the Chaga, the Chaga, the Nai, the Nai, the Nai, the Chaga, and the Nai, the Nai. Okay, and of that, that's the way it's going to go over here. Okay, so that, that is what we're doing. Now, when we work with um, the Dechuyos now, now, what does that mean exactly? So we're going to see that we're, we're bringing in the Chesed, the Gvua, Tifer, Netzah, Hod, Yesod, Umalcho. That's seven different spheres. Seven different spheres. Now, the way we're going to do it over here is that when we come to this 4B, this particular Kavana 4B, the way it's structured as follows. We bring in Militata Le'ela, we're going to bring the Malchus in first, into where? Into the Kelim Chesed. The Kelims are lined up. Chesed, Guvua, Tifer, Netzah, Yesod, Malchus. They're all lined up. Look at them Be'oivi. And we bring in the Malchus first into the Keli Chesed. And then the next day we bring in the Yesod into the Keli Chesed, which would then push out the Malchus that was there, which was there in the Keli Chesed of yesterday, into the Keli of Gvua. And so on and so forth. A new sphere comes in, it's going to push Malchus a bit further. A new sphere comes in till the seventh day, Chesed comes in and goes where? Into the Keli Chesed. That's going to push the Gvura, which was yesterday's, yesterday in Keli Chesed, into the Gvura. So now you have the Gvura, the, the Gvura, the chef of Gvura, into the Keli of Gvura. And so on and so forth, each Sphira is going to find itself in its proper Keli, till you have Malchus in Malchus. And that's the end of the first week, and that's the Tachlis of, uh, of this particular Kavana, of the Chuyos, is to pushing the Malchus finally in his final destination in the Malchus. Now, we're going to explain the reasons, the Tamim yet, but let's just get the technicalities of what we're doing exactly. So now let's look inside uh, the Siddur Hashash, and we'll see that the way it's... F so let's turn to the first page of Rehobah uh which is page, the first 
time we find this kavan is on page Mem Aleph. And he says, "Laham shech pinim zmak is the malchus the chesed echad the chesed the das dezan." Now let's always work backwards. So we have the das dezan in the das dezan. We're gonna have the chug over there. So we're coming down with a chesed, the first chesed of the duchuyos, which is a higher bechin over here, and it's gonna go into the keli of chesed. And that's depicted over here that you see clearly that this is the keli of chesed. Over here it says keli de chesed. <coughs> the three different levels representing the panemius, the emtsai, the, 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 and the keli of chitzon. And that's it. That is what you've done. That's the that's the kavana of the dechuyus over there. Now the next... The, 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 same, the same of Havaya there is, is the same of chesed, not the same of malchus. though. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're all chasadim. We have five chasadim. Right. There's no differentiation between what sphere is coming out. They're all coming out as chasadim. Okay, and the next kavana that you have over here is going to be the same duplicate kavana. It's not a new kavana. What's going to happen is that you're just moving it into malch into into nukva. So this is the kavana of the duchuyos when it comes to za. And over here on this side of the page is going to be the kavana of uh, uh, the same kavana as the chuyos, which is going to happen to nukva. So okay. oh, yeah. in the in the center of the the das, the the uh, the chesed and the gevura. Well, first chesed and first gevura. Uh -huh. I see. Right. So one's one's for the chesed, one's for the gevura. Okay, so, um, and, and the next, the lower part of that are just really the makifim, um, which again is going to go from, from Zav and Nukva, those are the makifim, but I just want to stay more on this kavana of Duchoya. So let's take now, let's go now to, let's say the fourth day. Let's take, let's take page Samach Zayin, when we come to the uh, kavanas of Duchoya. So what does it say on page Samach Zayin? La Amshich Penimi the Netzach. So what's coming in the Netzach the Chesed, Chesed the Arishon the Das the Zah. So what's coming in? So let's think about it. It's going to be the Netzach. It's going to be the Netzach. It's the fourth day. Samach Zayin. Samach Zayin. Yeah. La Hamshich Zayin Chesadim Shein Zayin Havayos. No, okay, we have different page numbers then. Okay, I'm looking at... No, we have the same page. They changed, I guess. All right, so... Look on you... day number four. Let's turn to day number four. Okay. Day number four, we were looking at the Kavana 4B, which is the Kavana of the Chuyas. Lam shech pinim b'makiv de netzach de chesed rishon de das de So we're bringing out the, that chesed again. Every day we're bringing out another chesed. What's the name? name uh, the individual name of this chesed? It's going to be Netzach. It's going to come. It's going to, where is it going to go? Obviously, in the Kelev Rishon, which is the Kelev Chesed. But we have a sphere over there. That's the Gvuls over there. So that's going to be pushed down. Look at the uh, the, the next Kavana underneath. That Chesed uh, of Netzach is going to push now the Gvura into the Kelev um, into the Kelev Gvura. Um, no, no, sorry, excuse me. And you're going to push the Hoid into the Gvula, and you're going to push the Yesod into the Tiferes. And then you're going to push the Malchus, where? Into the Keli Netzach. In the Keli Netzach. Okay? Right? Now let's just work on it backwards. Let's just make, make sure everybody's clear with that. It's a little bit complicated. So what happens now on day four? Day four meaning, let's count the spheres which came in. Backwards. You had, um, you had your sod coming in after that. And then you had, on the third day, you had Hod coming in. On the fourth day, you have Netzach coming in. So that's the way it moved. So again, today, if today is number four, Today's number four, which is the Netzach coming in. Where is the Netzach going to come into? The Keli Chesed. But there's a, there, there is a sphere called Hod there. That Hod was going to be pushed down to the Keli Gvura. Uh, but there's a, the, there is a Yesod in that Keli Gvura. So the Yesod is going to be pushed down to the Tiferes. Uh, but in the Tiferes is a Malchus. So that Malchus is going to be pushed down into the Keli of Netzach. Okay. So that is, that's it. Let's just see one more example on the, on the seventh day of Sphere's Omer. 
Seven days, which is the easiest day. So what do we have coming? Again, the first sphere that came on the first day was the Malchus. And the last one to come in is obviously, obviously the Chesed. The Chesed is going to move into the Keli. Chesed is the Shach. The Gevur into the Gevur. The Tiferes and Tiferes. The, the Yesod, the Yesod. The, the, the Hod, the Hod, the Malchus, and so on and so forth. All of them are going to be pushed into the right Keli. Right? Chesed, Pneum, so I'm on day five, no wonder I didn't say. Okay, so that, that's going to happen, that's what you see over there. Okay, so again, this is the main, I don't want to say the main kavana, but it is the, the, the main structure where all the other kavanas fall into. And we're going to explain a little bit more why that is uh, when we get more into depth. But well, right now we're just covering the basic structure of of Sphere of Omer. Okay, so that's what we're going we're to structure this year. Now, let's move on to the next Kavana. Again, it's only a Kitsu Kavana. The next Kavana that we find, which is particularly only for, only for the first week of Sphere of Omer, which is a beautiful Kavana, because it's called Yom de Kuluhu. It's called the Yom de Kuluhu. So let's turn to the first day of the Omer, well, we'll find the Rishash in my, in my edition, it's page Mem Base. Do you have that? Yeah, I'm at, I, yeah Mem Base, first day of the Omer. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is just after, I'm going in order of the Kavanas. We have 4A, 4B, and now we're going to have the fifth Kavana. And these are the, like smaller Kavanas, those are the four main Kavanas that we have. And then you have this one, which is very powerful, but again, it's not one of the main kavanas. Okay, it's called Yom Adekula. What is this all about over here? And by the way, if you follow through these kavanas, you'll see that this particular kavana, which is kavana number five, only lasts for the first week. It doesn't last, it doesn't last for the entire 49 days or the seven weeks. <coughs> I'll have to start to find out that why that is well. Okay? So... What 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 is this come over here? So the, the Arizas is something phenomenal over here, which I always find so interesting every time I read this. Um, so well, first of all, we'll start with the structure, and we'll explain a little bit of the reason because I can't hold myself back. Okay, so what it is 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 that you're going to find really seven times seven coming in. So let's read the words over here. Lam shich zayin chasadim shem zayin havayas aminu kodes benikut segel. The, oh, oh, one time, before I forget, I want to go back to the Chudis for a minute. I forgot one thing that I want to mention over here. So, if, for example, <clears throat> um, let, let's take, let's take, um, let's go back to the um, Yom Zion. So, Yom Zion, very important. It, it, it's, a, it's really um, an easier way to remember this. It's sort of a uh, sort of clues of what feels. For example, if you're in a rush and you can't read all the captions, of exactly which spheres are coming into what, but you look at the Nikud. Look at the vowels on, for example, on, on the seventh day of spheres of Omer, where you find that all the spheres are going into the right boxes, to the right Kalim. So the Kalim are represented by different Nikud. So you see on the first day, it's a, kud, it's a Segel, that's a Chesed. And then you see the Kele Gvura, which is a, a, a Shva, and then the Cholem, and the Tzeri, and the, and, and the Chubuk, and all that, see, that should indicate, and then finally the, the, the Nekud, which represents, um, which represents Malchus, you see, with the Shva, and the Kamat, and the Cholem, that represents uh, Malchut. Then you can just see, if you're very, in a short, in a, you just rush for time, just look at the Nekud, and that shows you the Kelim. That means the Ches is always represented by Segel, so you find a Havaya inside a Havaya. So Havaya, which is in the Kud of Segel, which is always represents the Pneumius, which is going inside, which is the Shefa, is going into the Kali. Okay, that's a very simple and good clue um, how to remember how to remember that Quran. Now, getting back, uh, why, why that reminded me, because you find the same thing over here as well. That you find a Havaya in this Kavana, which is Kavana de Kuluhu, Kavana de Kulu, is two Havaya. Well, the, well, the bigger, the bigger Havaya is the clear saying? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, but but we have the Gimel K underneath also. For yeah. Each one. Yeah. Yeah. It's symbolic. Okay. So you have the Havaya of uh, two Havayas here, over here. One of I again is going to be in place of the other one, which is going into the Kli, which is going into the Kli, the same type of structure that we just saw right now. So the first one is the Chesed coming to the Chesed. Second one is the Chesed, is, is the, is the, uh, chesed of Gvua coming into the Keli Gvua. The third one is going to be the Chesed of Tiferes coming into the Keli of Tiferes and so on and so forth. We have to know that this only lasts for the first week. Now, this is the chesed. As the Arizal points out, this is the most powerful chesed that we have in the entire year. It's actually brought down three times a year. But this is one of the times a year which brings down a majority of the chesedim. And the Arizal comes from the K, but the Trey Kitfim the Arich, the Shosh, the Mocha, the Stima, the Arachampin, it comes from very, very high areas. Chesed the Atik, Malbish, Beket the Arachampin, and this Chesed he calls it, it's astonishing, but he calls it it's the Shalit of Pakid al Chasadim Mispashti Begufa. In order to allow all these, he says, in order to allow all these, remember we have four different Hispashtas of Chasadim and Gvuas, right? And the Havaya, Asifas Omer. Um, and Hayom Kach Kach Loa four times when we spash the Chasadim, but they have to go through first of all this this Chesed. Sounds sounds uh, interesting though to understand that this Chesed has sort of a Bechira in order to allow or disallow the other Chasadim to move on. But that's what he says. This is the Shalit Upaki that a Chasadim in Spashtim Begufa. In order for the other Chasadim, as we know, the Tachlis of the Chasadim in Gvos, in Spashtim in the Guf, those are the blood which helps the, um, the, the Patsufim grow, they'll need to go through a process or an entry point. Uh, I call it the passport control officer. Uh, this is the, uh, the, this, the Chesed, the Kuluhu, which allows or disallows, depending on the Schus, uh, that his Spashtim to happen. Okay, that's why it's a very, very powerful, and that's why it's very important to Mechavim. And you only Mechavim this is the first week because it is concentrated. That's why Riza said we're going into more detail exactly the different questions that Mechavim ask over here, why it's only the first week. But the basic answer is that it's concentrated. That means not only the Chesed comes into the Chesed, but it's the Chesed times seven which comes in, which powers all the Chesedim for all the seven weeks. And then you have the Gvor comes in, which is powered by seven times the power of Gvor, which represents all the Gvors which are coming in, and so on and so forth. And that is a Kavana that you have to have for every single day. And the Kavana looks identical, except one's bringing into the one's bringing into the Chaga the Chaga, one's going to bring in the Nai the Chaga, one's bringing in and all these different permutations. So let's just go through it quickly. So that uh, on day one, you're bringing in Lahamshach Zayin Chasadim. Shem Zayim Havayis Min Dukodes Min Dukud Segol the Chesed Rishon Shel Chesed the Elyon Yom the Kulu Shitachad the Goron and where's it going? You see that it's going into the Chaga the Chaga the Zah. Chaga the Chaga Zah. Now let's turn over to the second page, the second, the second day. Chaga the Goron, Goron, because the Chesedim of Arich or the Dat of Arich is by Pesachim. Um, one second. Yeah. So in this next kavan, you find it goes to where? It goes into the Chagad The Chagad Nahi. Uh, where are we now? I'm just comparing the first day to the second day. Okay. okay. So you keep on bringing this Shefa. Uh, actually bringing both into the Chagat the Chagat and the Chagat the Nai, sorry. So the first we're going to be going into the Chagat the Chagat, and the next lower three or lower four, you're going to bring into the Chagat the Nai. But each one obviously is representing a new level, uh, new, so it's going to be the, the, the first one is going to be the Chachan, the day one you bring in the Chachan, sorry, the way it goes is you bring in the Chachan, of all seven into the Chagat, the Chagat, the Chagat, the Nahi. The second day, you bring in the Baga, 
of okay. all those bechinas in the chag the chag the chag the chag the nai. Third one obviously is going to bring the dati, and then when you move into day number three, you're already moving into a different part of the palzo because that was chag and chag and chag nai. There's only half of za. The fourth day. Nai de Chagat and the Nai de Nai. That's right. Nai de Chagat Nai. How are you going to do that three times for the Chacham Bagadati? Okay, so in this chart, how would that translate? Um, so in this chart, again, it's going to be a master chart. So you're going to bring uh, the Chacham for here and here. Um, the Chachan, sorry, the Chachan, you're going to bring down for all different Bechinas, right? So it's one, two, Chachan, one, two, right? Chachan, the Chachan, the Chachan, the Chachan, sorry, Chachan, the Chagad, the Chagad, the Chagad, the Nahi? Yeah, the Chagad, the Chagad, and the Nahi is the Chagad. Okay. The first night, three days, right? That's right, the first three days. Um, one second, let's just get that clear. The, the Hachen Bagadatim. The Hachen no, no, Bagadatim. The Hachen the Hachen Bagadatim. One second, one second. I have the Hachen So that's right. We'll the Hachen, you, you bring the Hachen the on the first day, for example, the Hachen of the Hachen, the Hachen, the Hachen, the Nahi. Right? For all th- for all these parts of the Hachen, 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 Hachen. Chachan, 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 right? All these Chachan. Next day, all the Bagas of this side. Next day, all the Datis, and that's, that's done. And the next three days, you're going to bring down for all the Chachan of this side, the Baga of this side, and the, th- the sixth day, you're going to bring in all the Dati. And then the seventh day, you bring in down all the Malchias. Let's look at, let's look at the seventh day. <clears throat> let's look at the seventh day. So for the seventh day of Yom Kulo, what are you bringing? You're bringing the Malchus, De Palzo, Chesed, De Chaga, De Chaga, Vidinahi. That means you bring for the entire Palzo, the Malchus over here, Malchus, 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 Malchus. All the mal- the Malchus of all the entire Palzo, that's, that's done. So you did seven days, and then you covered over um, the Chachan Bagadati for the first three days of the Chaga, De Chaga, De Chaga, De Nahi. And then the Chacham Bagadati of the uh, Nai de Chagat, uh, Chagat and the Nai de Nahi. And then on the last day, you're going to work on the Malchus on the entire parts of both on the Chagat de Chagat, the Chagat de Nahi, and the Nai de Chagat, and the Chag- Nai de Nahi. Okay? It's not complicated. It sounds complicated, but it really is not. It's just, <laughs> just looking at the chart and plugging it in. Any child could do it. It's really that simple. Okay, wonderful. So that is, again, we're just covering the basics. Then we'll get more to the lambdas exactly. What is this Yom the Kula, which is fascinating. What I want to move on to is the next Kavana, which is uh, which is the Kavana of the Malachim. Which is the Kavana of the Malachim. Now that's very, very fascinating. Let me show you a chart for that. Let me show you a chart for that. Okay. Um, let me get that chart in order to show it to you. See, I have various charts. As I'm Mechavan, I use these various charts in order to help me just focus my attention. Not that these are the charts at all, but... Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, just for one second, I just want to move back to Kavana 4A. Obviously, you're following me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. 4A is a Kavana of the Moichim. We talked about the four Mechavans of these Spashas, the Chasadim and Gvoz. But we talked about the uh, the kavanas for the Morichim in 4a. Which order does it come in? So my Rabbi Mordechai Tiam, Rabbi Mordechai Tiam, Shlita, uh, he used to, used to have a saying that he received from Mordechai Tiam. Rabbi Mordechai Tiam was Rabbi Mordechai, Rabbi Mordechai um, Shirabi. Rabbi Mordechai Shirabi which used to teach Rav Mordechai Shirabi and, and various other uh, Gidoyli Mekubalim, uh, including Rav, um, Rav Yaakov Hillel and Rav Shari Dubalevsky and others, uh, he used to have a saying called Ha'av Gadwa. 
right? It's, it's vav. He's pronounced it with a with a wa instead of vav. Okay, that was his pronunciation. So, his his um, the the way he would remember the way the moichem come in would be by this phonetic word called ha'av gadwa. Now let me show you a chart of what this is, and then you understand what I mean. In that way, when you have in the moichem in four a, the moichem come down chab. Chabad Chagtam, the Chabad Chagtam, that will make some sense to you. You don't have to look at the captions. You'll know exactly. Oh, Av Gadwa. Yo, today is the Hey, today is the Aleph. So, this is the chart I want to show you. This is also this is a chart which is found in a great sefer called Etz Chaim Lemotayim. You find this chart, and he's given me permission to um, show this uh, to use this. Right. So here we go. We have a Av Gadwa over here, meaning that this is Zal. Let me put this into perspective. You have Zal over here. What does Zal look like? Zal is built up by by uh, by Nukva, by, by, by Yusuf Saba and Tvuna, and also by Abba Ve'ima, Abba Ve'ima. So that's four different Patsufim in four different levels that Zal is going to receive. So let me show you over here. So uh, Zal is... Made up of four parts. This is the Katnus Rishon de Za, this is the Gadvus Rishon de Za, Katnus Sheni de Za, and the Gadvus Sheni de Za. Those are the four different parts of Za. One, two, three, four. The reason why it's split like this because this is just the Katnus part and this is the Gadvus part. He's going to receive this um, from Abba Ve'ima, these two sections, and he's going to receive these two sections from Yisra Saba and Tfuna. Now, these four sections, okay, are, are really split into another four, making eight little eight boxes all together. Four boxes on top, one, two, three, four, and four boxes on the bottom, one, two, three, four. Now, what represents on the right hand side will be the uh, Abba or Yusuf Saba coming in, and the left hand side will be Imai Loin. And and Jesus and uh, Tvuna becoming in. Now the reason why it's split into two parts, both uh, vertically and horizontal, because vertically, like I said, it's going to be Abba Ve'ima, respectively, and also the Gadlis Rish and the, the Gadlis Sheni and the and Katlis Sheni, and same thing we have Tvuna, Tvuna of Yisna Saba, and we have the Gadlis Rishon and the Katlis Rishon. Okay, so you have really four boxes all together. Now, now um, the reason why we're going to call it Ha'av Gadwaz is because <clears throat> we're going to see what comes in first. These are a phonetic name for the days of the week, or the counting of the days. So you have Aleph, Beis, Gimel, Dalet, Hei, Vav, Zayin. You have seven days of the week. Uh, day six and seven are considered to be uh, the same, Bechina, but one's the Rishima, one's the Yachshim Morchim. So, uh, Aleph would be the first day. Where's Av? So, so, so the way he would count it was, this the Hay, because this, this Kat Nadrishin comes on on day Hay. Then you have uh, the, uh, we're going to go from bottom to top, all right? You're going to have Kat Rishon that comes in on day Hay. You're gonna have Gadlus Rishon on the Tzad of Yusuf Saba coming in, coming in first. That's Aleph Day Five. Second is Gadlus Rishon of Tvuna coming in second. Then you have Katnasheni, which is uh, Katnasheni. It's become coming down on day three, but you can receiving both from Abba Ve'ima at the same time. Day four is going to be uh, the Gadlus Sheni. Of Ima coming in, and then Abba, Abba over here is the sixth day and the seventh day. Six days, the Shima coming in of Abba, and then the seventh day is coming the actual Moichim of Abba comes in. So is that clear? So you have Ab Gadwa. So it's really day one, day two, day three, day. Four, this box is going to come in. Day five, this box, and both boxes are coming in at the same time. And day six and seven, Abba's uh, Gadus Shani is going to come in on day six and on day seven, respectively. Okay? 
So again, to remember that, it's Ha'av, Ha'av, Gadwa. Gadwa. Okay? <laughs> so that's a great way to remember, the easy way to remember that Seder. So try to go over it a few times, and then you know, every time you turn to a page of the, of the Mochim the Gadlus, you'll say, oh, what's today? The Hey, that's Hey, that's Katas Sheni. That's Katas Rishon, and it's, uh, it's obviously Thursday, right? It's, it's, it's um, coming in from uh, Tfuna and Yusuf Saba. Good, let's move on now to the chart of the Molochim. A little bit complicated, but you'll, you'll get the system. It's a new system now, a new system of... Uh, of Molochim coming in. Now, what's the purpose of this? I gotta tell you the purpose before we do this, okay? The purpose of this uh, is Hamtokas Adinim. Again, that we know that Sevil Omer is, is Dinim. It has to do with building up Nukva as well. Nukva is Adnus, as we said. Adnus is um, a combination of the letters of Aleph, Dalit, Nun, Yud, uh, which represents Din. And uh, and then Aleph, Aleph being Ima, being Mamtik, the Dinim. So it's 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 a time of Dinim. The Om is a time of Dinim. And therefore, we're going to need a lot of Hamtaka. And this is why this Kavan is over here. We know that there are seven Molochim, seven major Molochim. We know this from Etzchaim. And the uh, Shash of Chov goes into depth. And the names are Bala or Bela. Yovav, Chusham, Hadad, uh, Smala, Shaul, and Bal Hanan. Okay, these are all found in the Chumash. These are all found in the Chumash. And this is the sugya of uh, Shvios Malachim. The seven Malachim. Every Melech is, has as well in it, Zayn Malachim. Okay? So really you can have Zayn by Zayn, of these malachim, seven times seven malachim. So every time, every day, we're going to be being being misakin or making a tikkun in that particular melech itself, plus the other malachim which are found in that particular melech. Okay, does that make sense? So you have the the melech for example, day one is bela, and within bela you have bela de bela, and then you have yuv yuvav de bela, chusham de bela. Adad de Bela, Smala de Bela, Shol de Bela, and then you have uh, Bal Hanan de Bela. Okay? So there are all these protheistic malachim in one melech. So we're looking at a chart of uh, a chart of, um, of of seven by seven as well over here. So let me show you the chart, and then we're going to go through it. So maybe you can just freeze the video and take a picture of it, and that way you can have it next to you. Or maybe on a different screen, and that way you can uh, see this chart, okay? So there's a lot of different charts out there. There's a chart over here in Chov now, uh, but I think this is probably the best chart I've seen, the clearest. Okay, so uh, here's the chart over here. Okay, so here's a chart for those on that screen. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that is, um, let me see if I got, I got it clear. Yeah, okay. And here's the chart on this screen as well. I can bring it a bit closer. Okay, so that that is the chart. Okay. Now, okay, where's the chart in the Rakova Tanar? Just to... oh, it's uh, it's it's at the back of the it's back of the siddur. Okay, look at the back of the siddur. The my edition is tough olive. Like I said, but this is clear. This is a much much clearer uh, thing, and I'll tell you why it's so clear. Okay. Um, okay. So let's uh, go through that chart. So you have <coughs> particular shachim that it's mentioned in this chart. The shach has to do with a particular dinim. In that particular, um, in that particular sphere that or that malach that we're, we're being massacred over here. Okay. So the first malach uh, that we're going to be dealing <coughs> with is Bela. Now, in Bela, uh, what we call the first day is going to be Bela de Bela, you're going to be going downwards. 
And what do you need to do ex explains it's a Bina Havaya de Sag, five times five uh, Pamim Sag, which is equal to Shin Vav, 350, plus the Hei Lo. I'll explain what that means. So you're going to take the, the, word, the, the word Sag, and what you need to do in every single day, or, or every single Nakuda that you have to be second over here, you need increments of 45. You need increments of 45. So, but you're gonna have a problem over here because when you take the when you take the the um, uh, sag, which is 63, it's much more than 45. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave over. We're gonna leave over from. Um, we're gonna leave over from 45 six to the next day. To the next day, okay. Um, and that it's gonna complete it's gonna complete the shape. No, so it's more than four, more than six. What we're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about is um, is 20, 22, right? Uh, five is eleven is twenty one. Sorry, twenty one. So twenty one left over is gonna be for the next day. So we're gonna take from sag, which is sixty three. We're only gonna take forty five of that for that particular day, and the other twenty one we're gonna leave over for the next day, for that to be used. Is that clear? So that's that's box number one. That's when we're doing the tikkun in the first particular, um, which which is called shal. You know, to, to get a little bit more detail, it is very complicated. The the, 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 the Ariz explains that there are fifty nun sharim bina over here. Nun sharim bina. Unfortunately, we don't know all the nun sharim binas. We only know six out of all the nun sharim binas. And he says, at he says the the Shosha Yuneshoma is in one of those noon Sharabina. And he told the Rav Chaim Vital, he says, I know which one your Shosh Neshama is, and I want you to have an about for this particular Shah. So uh, theoretically, according to Rav Chaim Vital, he knew where his Shosh Neshama was. He didn't have to have all of these different Sharim that we're doing over here. He was able to have only one Shah because he knew exactly. We don't know, so we're having all the different Sharim. But these are Tikkun and our particular Neshama that we need to do. And they're coming the based on the based on the uh, Nun Sharim Bina. So in the first Shah, which we find all these malachim inside, we're going to mechaven the 45. And as well as well, we have to mechaven as well the second shach, which is adnus, and we're going to use again uh, 45 for that as well. Adnus being 65, so we'll have some sp spare over for the next day. We're going to take 45 from the adnus. And the next shame that we knew we, we were going to do the tikkun with is the shame ma, ma being exactly forty five, so we don't have anything left over for the next day because we only need forty five for that particular nikuda. The next shach in that particular shah that we have to masak in is the lama based nativus, the brio olam. Again, we're just, I mean, just touching upon this superficially. We'll get into more understanding later on. Uh, we're going to need 45 from there as well. There's going to be five left over over there, as we'll see. Then the next Nakuda or the next Sha that we have to misak in has to do with Shakai. So Shakai obviously is 300. It's much more that we need. So we're going to misak in that particular uh, Bechina of 45 in the Shakai, which is 45. We're left over with much more. And then the last Nakuda on that particular day in Sha Shishi, we're going to misak in uh, using Kel uh, Eke, Eke, okay? Kel Eke, which is, um, which is much more than 45. So you're going to be left over with uh, whatever you're left over with, I think it's 15, for the next day. For the next day, you're going to take 45 and then the uh, Kel and the rest are going to be left over. So the kids, what you're doing is that you're taking these different shamers and being misak in the malachim, which are found in one of the sha'are bina, one of the nun sha'are bina. Again, we only know six of them, so we're only misak in those six. In sha'are bina, 
using these powerful names. And again, the increment is 45 on every single box. So to show you on this chart what we just did over here is that on day one, we're going down. We're going down over here. On day one, we're misaking uh, this box, Shal Aleph, Shal Beis, Gimel, Dalit, He, Vav. And that's it. We've done our we've done our tikkunim for the day, taking 45 from all these different shamus. And day two, we're doing the exact same thing. We're going to take 45 from all these different shamus. Day three, day four, day five. We repeat this 49 times because we only did Bella the entire week. Bella de Bella the first day, Bella de Bella de Yovav, and so on and so forth. Then the next next week, what we're going to be doing is Yovav. So we do we're going to do Bella de Yovav, Yovav de Yovav, Chusham de Yovav, and so on and so forth. We're going to do seven of those Malachim. All right, is that clear? Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, no comment is better than, than bad comment. Okay, like I said, this is very superficial. Okay, I understand we'll have to get more and more into depth, but that's the basic structure of what we're going to do over here. Okay. Well, Let's... Stick your dog, dummy, right? Sorry? Stick your dog, right. Yeah, uh -huh. stick a, it means, sometimes stick means you are a dummy. But, right. <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, so the next Kavana, Kavana number six, so boy, I hope everybody's hanging in to there. We're yeah, running out of time, though. I have to... Oh, we're running out of time. What, what time is it now? 7.30, oh, Okay, so we're, we'll stop it here, and we'll continue the last few Kavanas, and then we'll go back into more depth to understand these Kavanas much better. Okay. <laughs>